Hi, welcome to NBTV. Got a bite-sized bit to help your business grow this week. And I'm filming this episode in my garden and it's a Sunday afternoon. And uh, a few hours ago I was on Sky News doing the morning paper review with Stephen Dixon. And um, it's the first time I'd done it. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you about a, a really important lesson that I've taken away from my kind of three or four hours in the Sky News studios because uh, I hadn't been there before and although I've been on telly I've always done it from kind of remote studios that sort of thing so it's great to kind of be in the actual kind of centre of, of kind of news production and, uh, and see what was going on and what was immediately apparent was just how kind of slick and organised everything was because you see everything had a process um, there was just everybody knew how things were going to happen and what was going on <clears throat> there was, I mean, there were no big, massive breaking news stories happen while I was down there. But if there had been, again, I feel really confident and sure that the processes would just have kind of flowed into place. And it just made me think about how, uh, obviously, clearly, if you're running a national news sta uh, station like that, how important processes are and systems to ensure that the right things happen at the right time, so that what goes out on air looks professional and uh, and appropriate for what they're trying to do. But you know that principle applies to our businesses, doesn't it? And um, so many business owners have built kind of monsters, if you like, that are completely dependent on them to ensure that the kind of wheels turn and things get done. And it, it just struck me really quite starkly this morning that you know, one of the keys, I mean, I've known this for many, many years now and I've made a lot of progress in my business towards it, but it's made me think quite differently about how... I need things to be in my business much more process driven and, and, and many more systems to ensure that the right things happen without me having to be watching over it, checking it, leading it, driving it, instructing uh, things to take place. And if you think about it, in, in any business, so we've all got systems, but a lot of the systems tend to start with the stuff that I would argue, I say matters least, it's just not necessarily the most important stuff. So let's take a restaurant, for example. Well, if you own a restaurant, you've got a system for um, how you agree the menu with your chef. You've then got systems for getting the right ingredients and food and drink, getting your bar stocked. You've got a system of what happens when people arrive at the restaurant and they get shown to their tables. You've got systems for how you actually add up all the bits on the bill so nothing gets missed. You've got a system for actually presenting the bill and taking payments, etc. But do you know what? In most restaurants... There's not a system for what I would argue is like the most important thing of all, which is ensuring we are full tonight and every night. Um, isn't that the most important system? If that was sorted out, wouldn't everything else somehow kind of take care of itself? And isn't that the case in your business? Um, it's got me really thinking this afternoon. It's kind of, in many ways, spoiled my Sunday <laughs> because I'm thinking a lot about what I need to do to better systemize and put better processes in place to make sure that the most important things in my business have, kind of, if, if not quite autopilot, at least they're happening in the right way without my involvement and input. So that is my bite-sized bit for today. It's designed as ever to make you think a bit differently about how your business is running and what you need to do to get yourself further towards super success. I wish you well, I wish you luck, and I'll see you next week with a bite-sized bit to help your business grow.